Hey, we're back with uh, Iron Chef Charles Bronson. When last we left him, he was about to explore... Well, he was exploring Walden Pond, the temporary home of Henry David Thoreau when he wrote the book Walden. Um, he lived as a hermit there. So we're going to... Uh, he, when we left him, he was uh, he was just outside a tunnel, sort of drainage pipe, right there in Walton Pond. So we're going to go in there and check it out, and do a little exploring, because who wouldn't want to know what's underneath Walden Pond? I don't know if I want to drink the water, but let's see here. Oh, yep, there's some rats there. That is no big surprise there. Um, let's see what we're armed with so far. Oh, got some pretty good weapons here. on there. Sort of homemade reflex sights. So this guy made sure he had everything he needed before he started his camping trip in that little shack up top. Double checked his list and everything. That's why they call it being the road. Ah! Oh. <laughs> and this guy trans, uh, trans trains dentalism, moron. You sound like an idiot. How the hell you know all this? I read a book that one time. When we ran out of grognacks, I wish I could read. That's interesting. You get to walk in on the uh, these uh, are these scholars. Or some sort of... Oh, no, they they're readers of some sort, I guess. Does it look like a. Uh... Looks like they're wearing kiss makeup or something. Uh, you know, they're literature buffs wearing kiss makeup. I, I kind of feel bad killing them, but um, I get the feeling if I walk out there in the open, they're going to kill me, so I may as well just waste them. Oh, what? No! There you are! Yeah, well. That wasn't too hard. <clears throat> yeah, they, they drop pretty easy. I should be on the lookout for traps, though. These guys do like to set traps. Huh, look. Hot plate. It's good to pick up all of that sort of random loot laying around. Especially, uh, especially early in the game like this. And especially now that it's all useful for one thing or another when you're crafting or modding or settlement building. It's good to pick up even cracked bowls, I guess, uh, to start off with. I'm guessing later on I'll not need so much of this stuff. Um, ooh. Tails nice. of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor. Helps you with the prices. Why I sold my mother. <laughs> I love the drawing there. It's very uh, mad magazine. Alright. So here's Tweez. And I guess the other guy was Bear. Once again, uh, I like the kiss makeup and the fact that they're. Uh, was he wearing kiss makeup or. He's wearing some sort of makeup there face tattoo or something. But yeah, as you can see, I'm even picking up tin cans and screwdrivers and things like that. Ooh, bourbon. Because, uh... Because, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing even the tin cans are... Oh, nice. Some easy XP always to disarm little traps even after dog sets them off. Thanks, dog. Um, it's Walter and Whiplash. Ooh. 
much. What the? Thought you get. So my arm has been crippled, and it's suggesting I use a stim pack for that. I should probably equip more armor now that I have it too. Okay. That's the best I got. Oh no, here we go, hardened raider right leg. Yeah, that is better. Um, So, uh, oh, jeez, I got both limbs blown off there. Oh, I also have a level up to do. I never did that. Um, okay, they, they used to be you would select the limbs to use the stim packs on. I guess it just doesn't work that way anymore. Or it's not on this menu. So let's let's go over inventory. Into stim packs. And yeah, there still isn't a way to select a particular limb to use them on. So I'm just gonna put that out there. Walter. I believe Whiplash is still in there. Yep. There she is. Huh. She was quite a pushover compared to Walter. What, they, did they throw a Molotov at me? What the fuck happened there? Oh, thanks. I would get shop key. Molotov cocktail, there we go, yeah, they probably were doing that. Spike armor. Oh, and now I'm carrying too much. Uh, okay. That's the, uh... <coughs> it's the constant curse of being a looter. Hey! Is, uh... You're always running out of stuff. Uh, space, rather. Gonna throw some things on. Dog meets back. He doesn't seem to mind. I'll just throw all the junk on his back there. Just make this quick. Jeez, I picked up a lot of crap, haven't I? Okay, well, he can't carry anymore now. I guess we'll have to head back to Sanctuary after exploring Walton Pond here. Or I guess we're not in Walden Pond anymore. Walden Tunnels. Okay. Oh. Can you okay, open that up? Oh, lots of stuff in there. Look at that. Ooh, jet. Wondering how that more jet. Dirty water. Uh, try not to use it because it ups your ads. But, uh. So, yeah, since we're heading back, I'm just gonna pick up all of this random crap. Of course, if this, uh. Excellent! Big Jim! Hand to hand weapon, 20% chance to cripple target's leg. Oh, very nice. Also a mining helmet. Two can, light bulb. Oh, okay, there we go, that's what I was saying. Are you peeing on that stuff over there, dog meat? Needles. Oh, jeez. Hey! Wait there. Oh, I guess that wasn't armed. Okay. I would 
have heard beeping or something if that was armed. Cute. Lunchbox time. There we go. Uh, tibia. Oh, I'm over encumbered again. Alright. It's, that's why it's just good to pick up all the random crap, too. Just because then you have plenty of crap to let go of when you become over-encumbered there. Ooh, the hot plate has a lot of good stuff. Circuitry and hot plate. They're relatively cheap, too. They just weigh a lot. So, I still have all of that stuff from the Grotsky cabin. Grognak's... no, it wasn't Grognak, that's... that's someone else. Okay. So we're gonna head back now. Uh, gas canister. Always worth a lot. Steel and oil. So... I'll try not to do this so much as the game goes on. But really, like I said, it's it's good to collect this stuff early on um, for your um, for oh, found some oh jeez and just That weighs a lot. Alright, so I'm gonna throw that back in. And yeah, there we go. And of course, loot a whole bunch Over of here. Move nice here. Stuff. Huh? Oh, I'm still talking to you. How you doing, buddy? Aw. Eh, never mind, boy. So yeah, you kind of make your own vault suit armor. And uh, Fallout 3 Moria, the, uh, all you own is the umbrella. And an umbrella stand. She, uh, she gives you a suit of vault armor that, uh, That keeps you pretty pretty well armored for the very start of the game, at least. Um, what's that? that? Looks interesting. Why don't we save here? It's always good. Oh, it auto saves when you leave. So, oh yeah, we were in the gift shop basement. I'm guessing right now we're in the gift shop. So. Tweez, we just killed him. Oh, right. Ah, I keep picking up more stuff. Um, okay. Looks like we got a booby trap here. So I'm gonna move very slowly. I don't know what the hell this thing does, or... I am carrying too much and can't run. Oh, I see. Ooh! Yeah, here we go. There's bombs all over the place here, it looks like. Oh, jeez, yeah. There's a lot of them here. That monkey is freaking me out. 
Alright, I'm not going to go farther into this place. I'm just going to drop a couple of more miscellaneous crops in here. Uh, steel is pretty easy to come by. And, yeah, look for the things that weigh a lot and don't have much components when you're when you're doing this kind of thing. Hmm. I don't have much bone, so I might need that spring plastic. Yeah, interesting. Jeez, what did I pick up that first? That weighs five. Oh yeah, I picked up another hot plate, didn't I? Like I said, those are worth a lot in circuitry and stuff like that, so I'm going to drop uh, some crappy armor over here. Um, I'm going to store a right leg in there. it seems. Alright, and I can move around again. Oh, look. A little tiny replica of Henry David Thoreau's cabin. And yeah, there we go. That was, that was Walden Pond. Inside and out. Right. We're out of there. The gift shop, uh, I don't know if there's more explosives in there, but that was, uh, that was a little creepy, that monkey thing. There's probably going to be more of them later on. Uh, Hello. It's either dark out again or still dark out. But I was hoping to show it to you guys during the day. Oh, yeah, I think we can do that anyway. Yeah, let's get some daytime looks at this place. There's uh, Charles Bronson, Iron Chef Charles Bronson. Here's the Henry David Thoreau's house, or Hello, the replica and welcome to Walden Pond. of his cabin. Oh, it's not you playing are the now whole. Standing oh, in front it is. Of the cabin okay. inhabited by transcendentalist writer and philosopher. Henry David Thoreau, starting in the Just summer of 1845. We did all this in the last video. Looked at the, uh, did all of this and listened to the tour. But, uh, we didn't get to see everything in the daylight, so... This experiment was influenced by Thoreau's interest in transcendentalist philosophy, which believed that people were at their best when truly self-reliant. By living off the land with few material possessions, Thoreau proved it skeptical to think that any outward improvement of life could bring inner peace and contentment. For more information, please visit the gift shop and purchase one of the many books on transcendentalism. Yeah, I like that part. <laughs> also available, t-shirts, coffee mugs, toys, yeah. and many other items to commemorate your trip. Excellent. Thank you for visiting Walden Pond, sponsored by General Atomics, maker of the Mr. Handy robotic assistant. <laughs> the ultimate bit of irony in that whole uh, tour. The robot butler advertisement for, for Walden Pond. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's Walden Pond. Here it is in the daylight. We saw it nighttime last time, and I, I read you a little bit of the beginning of the... Uh, of his book, Walden. Henry David Thoreau's book, Walden. So why don't we head back to Sanctuary, can drop off some of the crap there. It's it's actually good to... we should have done that after we went to Gorski's cabin. Uh, we really should have stopped back at uh, Walden Pond and dropped that off. Also, I, sh I should note that it's a good idea at this point to make another trip to Concord and the Museum of Freedom, just to go back there and loot anything that you didn't already loot there. Because, uh, yeah, we're still starting off here and need a lot of supplies and things to build up, to build up sanctuary. So yeah, so hope you enjoyed that. 
uh, join us next time. I'm going to drop off some of this stuff. I won't bore you with all those details. I'm going to drop off all this stuff, and then we'll start again in Sanctuary and head further down south, do some more exploring. All right, thanks for joining us. Bye.